Hello YouTube, welcome back to r slash entitled parents. This is Petty One's time that they almost punched a kid. Let me regale you the tale of the time I was almost punched a child because his parents let him run wild. It's no secret that I don't like children, especially dislike the badly behaved ones, such as the one in this tale. I don't like to be around them if I can help it at all. I won't even babysit my nephews and niece, and I take precautions not to end up with one of my own. Hence, why when I was 19, with no insurance, I got my birth control at the local health department. Now picture, if you will, it being the arse crack of dawn around 9am for me, I haven't been to sleep. Because of this, my hatred for daylight, I have a skull slid into my brain, and I'm not in the best of moods. As I sit in the waiting room, awaiting my appointment, in comes mummy dearest with bad ass Timmy in tow. Now I know most kids are hyperactive, little tornadoes, but this kid was beyond ridiculous. At what I surmise to be six years old, most kids know not to touch other people without permission. Not bad ass Timmy. This kid is terrorising the entire waiting room. He's running around, hitting people, screaming. At one point he pushed a toddler down because he wanted to play with one of the toys that the kid was playing with. The health department here has little activity tables for kids with toys and stuff. All the while his mummy's paying no attention to him as she's having a loud conversation on her phone with the person being on speakerphone. Needless to say, my mood did not improve. But I say nothing and have my headphones in my ears just to deter people from trying to hold a conversation with me and go back to the book I'm reading. This is until Bardas Timmy brings his ass over to me. I see him out of the corner of my eye, but I ignore him, hoping he'd piss off. I was wrong. Not only did this kid slap the book out of my hand, he yanked my earbuds out and proceeded to scream in my face. Y'all, I don't know if mum saw the murderous look on my face or the way my hand had unconsciously boiled into a fist, but she quickly pulled him away from me, all the while glaring. Fine, whatever, you keep your kid from terrorising people or keep him at home. Thankfully, I was called to the back shortly after, but not before hearing her complain at whoever she was on the phone with about how she wanted to kick my ass. Well, this is a pretty entitled parent not doing anything about that kid who's terrorising people, being very violent to others. She's just a pretty ignorant parent after all. Not that entitled, just flat out ignorant. This is Jam CS's story. EM says I'm not supposed to win musical chairs. <laughs> This is the dumbest title ever. This story is quite an old one from when I was pretty young. This is around when I was five or six years old and my family took a trip to Cucan, Mexico and stayed at this resort. The place was kind of dumpy, but they had a lot of good nighttime activities for all the kids to play on. And one night, the game was musical chairs. The game goes along and comes down to a final two. Me, six-year-old Jam CS, and probably a four-year-old girl. Now for context, I'm a decently tall guy and have always been, so it's reasonable to assume the EP could have thought I was older, but either way, it didn't matter much. Given that I'm a skilled musical chairist, I won the game against this girl, and they get the microphone. Say congrats, give me a t-shirt, whatever. So, we're done. I'm grinning ear to ear, happily I won, and Wild ED comes up to me, probably a dude in his late 30s, and says, No one was really rooting for you to win, my daughter was the one that should have won. I didn't really post it at the time, just kind of stood there staring at him. I mean, chief, I'm six years old, out here trying to get my free t-shirt, and this man's telling me that I shouldn't have won. Not the most riveting EP story, I know, but one of the only ones I've ever had. It's a nice, casual, entitled parent story. A parent who thinks above all else, their kid is the only one who deserves to win. This is Boy as the Ginger's post. Kid steals knife, mum whines because I want it back. Sorry for grammar, I'm on mobile. Not long, but TLDR. Basically, it's the title. Bit of a backstory. I'm a boy scout and obviously have a lot of knives since my totem chip. This was a couple of years ago. The dialogue won't be perfect, by the way. Anyway, I'd done the Memorial Day parade as part of my troop. I'd also bought my knife because the little 12-year-old wants to kill his knife. After the parade, we go to the veterans hall and have some snacks. After I eat, my dad drives me home. As I walk into my house, I realise my knife is missing. At the next troop meeting, I bring it up, M equals me, EM equals entitled mum, EB, entitled brat, F1, friend one, friend two, D, my dad, me. So hey everyone, after the parade I lost my knife, it has turquoise handle, silver belt clip, 
and a 3.25 inch non serrated blade. If you have it or know who has it, please get it back to me. Friend 1 and Friend 2 come up to me and tell me, entitled Brad has my knife. Hey, I heard you had my knife. How do I know it's yours? Um, because I described it. So? Dad, what did my newest knife look like? Uh, it was blue, non serrated, I don't know. $15, right? That's good enough. He's your dad? Of course he'd side with you. Um, well my bro's got- Ah, oh, this is a terrible story. Whatever. There's a stolen knife. Yeah, I don't really feel like narrating. <laughs> um. Yeah, they report him to the troop leaders. Nice. I feel weird about the fact that this kid is like, Oh, well, you can't. I won't give it back to you, even though your dad's siding with you. I mean, it's only a $15 knife, but it's still a knife. You know, you're a 12 year old kid, you don't just go around stealing a knife. Okay, so I know at the end, after I asked what happened before him intervened, Bridal Brat said, and I quote, Evie said, and I quote, why is that repeated twice? Oh, I think we disposed of it after we didn't have a use for it. Why would you steal a knife, pretend that you didn't steal it, and then say that you threw it out? After two months. Weird. Oh well. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. That's it for now. And I'll see you next time for more quality content. Goodbye.